It's not what you think. I promise it's not what you think, but I did have to embrace the little inner hype beast in myself. Hopefully you can forgive me. back with another video talks with tj aka tj two shoes change two shoes crew what is going on it is your girl tj back with a video and this is dropping on a saturday so i hope you all are ready for the weekend whatever you have planned for the weekend some of you are probably very distraught and sad because the track's <laughs> you didn't get anything like at all like you took it out everywhere you didn't you didn't try you didn't hit on the foot action and, uh, abs in LA or Chicago, you didn't hit on sneakers, you didn't hit on the Travis Scott website. I can't really tell you what my sentiments are right now because I am filming this prior to Friday. So let's just keep that in mind because your girl is working on this Saturday, okay? Always working. I gotta go ahead and sling the shoes, not just buy the shoes. But you can go ahead and let me know in the comment section how you're actually doing in terms of that Travis Scott drop. Now we know, guys, let's just get right into it. Collaboration sneakers are the wave, they are the thing, right? They sustain the most hype. Hence the whole Travis Scott 6 that the whole world in terms of sneakers has seemed to shut down for. But before Travis really took all the limelight, it was Virgil Abloh, let's be very honest, with the Off-White, the 10 collection that he did. And as you guys know, I mean, you guys got to see, or hopefully you checked out my Air Jordan 1 collection. So that is available for you to see all the Air Jordan 1s that I own. Yes, this is one of my most prized pairs of sneakers because I was able to cop this. It is the off-white UNC one that Virgil Abloh did with Nike slash Jordan. And I got it for retail during the shock drop. So very happy about that. And I do wear my shoes. So absolutely love this. Even matches the nails. Look at that. I'm feeling special. <laughs> so I picked up that and you guys know that I also picked up the Off-White 90 Desert Ore. This is a sneaker I wanted for so long. I just wanted it so badly. The second I saw it hit the internet with pictures and uh, I made this happen. Uh, this is my technically third Off-White pair. The other pair is in the closet. Big fan of these guys, it's finally fall so I can start to break them out and wear them a whole lot, a whole, whole lot. Oh, still got that brand new smell. <laughs> Hopefully you guys saw this pickup too. But, so we all have a little hype beast in us, right? And um, a little hype beast purchase. Now I say it's not what you think, cause I know some of you are like, I knew she couldn't do it. I knew she bought some shoes. I knew she bought some shoes. I did not. These are not shoes. These are not shoes. If you've paid attention to some of the little unboxings I've shown you on my channel here, so I do have some Rasta Clock bracelets, and that's one of the newer ones that I had. So I'm not sure if you are aware. If you're not into the bracelet, you might not be aware, right? But it's just a smaller package, guys. It's not actually a pair of shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trolled you a little bit. It's a smaller package, so not sure if you were aware, Rasta Claw did. I, I thought it was actually very smart to play off the hype of the entire off-white look, whether it's with the zip tie or with, you know, the air in quotation marks. They wanted to play up with all of that, and they did. So they actually did a, I feel like it was a satirical bracelet style for the off-white collection. And they came in a blue, black, and white, very similar to what you saw in a lot of the actual Off-White Collection sneakers. But then they kind of got like, you know, threatened with lawsuits, or they did get sued. Pretty much Off-White wasn't a fan of them doing this. I thought, why not push the hype? <laughs> so as I've been searching for more and more bracelets, I saw this, had to get it. I don't care what you think. So here it is. So it is a Rasta clock. It's really actually called an off clot, if you can believe it. So, right on the back there, off clot care of Rasta clot. And this is the header card, Long Beach, California, USA C2018. So, I'm going to give you guys a close up B roll, but it, here is the actual bracelet, which, as we know, I mean, it matches perfectly with the actual off-white UNC ones. So you have the bracelet here. So 
on the actual centerpiece here it actually does say barrel right there it says aglet on the end here which i love and then this is a play on the shoelaces so it says shoelace it says lion head here on the card now they are actually going for a below oh, sorry most important part for a little hype beast there's a zip tag on here um i will be that person that leaves the zip tag on i don't care now this wasn't supposed to be like oh i got money i can go buy an off-white bracelet it was you know just to make fun to make whole heart of the situation and i thought it was a great idea i thought it was a cool campaign i mean why not if you already have the shoes you want to coordinate put a bracelet on maybe you want to rock this daily you're probably not going to wear your off whites daily i'm just being very honest i'm not i do rock my bracelets daily if you are unfamiliar with the company they're all about positivity and positive vibes and you trying to make sure that you sustain that within yourself every single day and having something as a symbol to remind you is a good thing trust me i have to look down and literally see that this bracelet has positive vibes and some of the things you can go through in life but you do need to keep that within mine so i have this one which is very very colorful um it's kind of like a really bright mango and then it is more of that kind of powder blue white and yellow it's kind of like got like a paint splatter so i actually think it'll complement this really well so i like to stack mine and then i wear my watch every day i like to stack mine but i'm excited so yeah this is a little hype beast pickup <laughs> that i got no shame in my game at all they had a, they have white ones and black ones available now these use these were available at like zoomies in different places that sell them but you can't find them now on the actual market you are going to have to go to the secondary market and you're going to have some people that charge you a decent price like i paid for this one and then you're going to have some people that they're like hey because it's got an off-white kind of name to it they're going to charge you out the butt i'm just going to be honest so hopefully you don't have to end up paying that i thought about getting the white one the white one was in my car i thought about getting the white one but i thought against it because that would just get too dirty too fast so i just went with the blue one nice and bright i'm excited to rock this guys i'll go ahead and make sure i show you some slow b-roll just to end out the video but thank you so much for tuning in there's a little hype beast in all of us it's okay to embrace them you don't have to shun them just you know make sure you keep them in check